How's it going Guardians? Shifty here and today I've got for you a solo run of the Grandmaster Devil's Slayer Nightfall on a Warlock. In this one I'm going to be rocking Arbalist and I'm going to be using the Axion Bolt Grenade with Controverse Hold. Now before I get into the rest of my loadout, if you end up enjoying the video, make sure to hit that like button and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe as well. For this run I decided to go with Top Tree Voidwalker and the Axion Bolt Grenade along with Controverse Hold. Next up, for my weapons in my kinetic slot I have Arbalist. This is going to be for barrier champions and for damaging champions and bosses. Then in my energy slot I have the Wolf Tone Draw Bow. This is going to be for overload champions. And in my heavy slot I have the Threaded Needle Linear Fusion Rifle. And lastly, for my armor mods I'll just quickly show you each piece of armor and if you need to see anything in more detail, just pause the video. And that is it for my loadout here. I will be including live commentary with this run, and there will be timestamps if you want to skip to a particular part of the strike. With all of that said, let's get right into it. Alright, so right at the beginning here, I'm just going to head off to the right, because I'm going to be skipping all of the enemies in this area, including the Overload Champion. If you didn't know, you don't have to kill the champion in this opening area to get a platinum rating. And so I'm going to do my best to sneak around here, go the long way, hop over this railing, off to the right, then I'm going to go ahead and jump up on here and drop down into the doorway. And that saves a little bit of time in this nightfall. Now I would normally use a vortex grenade with controversial hold, but I wanted to give the Axiom Bolt to go here. I've been enjoying those quite a bit lately. And in this case, they worked out pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and get some charges of light from that well. I'm going to go ahead and get this champion to barrier and finish it off with Arbalist. It's super easy with Arbalist. We have all these Thrall here, I might as well toss another Axiom Bolt. And now we can move on. Alright, we're going to have that Overload there. I'm going to go ahead and toss a grenade kind of out here, see if I can get anything. I got one Acolyte. On the next stun, I'm going to use some Linear Fusion Rifle ammo on this Overload. Swap back to the bow after three shots to prevent healing with the Overload round. And I'm going to go ahead and finish it off here. Wizard is next. Since I don't have any solar damage, I have to use Arbalist to break the shield on the wizard and miss every crit and almost die to the Acolyte. Let's try that again. You know what? I'll just go ahead and finish. We're going to get the Thrall to spawn out of this doorway right here. And there should be a barrier champion right over here. I'm going to go ahead and get it to barrier right away. Maybe. I was almost out of Arbalist ammo, which is why I swapped to my Threaded Needle instead. Alright, right off the bat here, we're going to go ahead and toss a grenade, see what we can get with that. Not a whole lot. 
Got one wizard shield off. Might as well super. Finish that wizard off. Now we can toss another grenade down there. I'm going to backtrack a little bit and go for the snipers in the back. Pop a grenade on over there. And what do we have left? More enemies than I was anticipating. Not ideal placement. Yeah, I can't hit it there. Now I can hit it. Back to the bow to prevent healing. Make sure I grab any ammo before I start the scan here. And I'm going to head on over to the corner. Normally I would throw a vortex grenade to try to get some of the adds that spawn. But this time I'm going to go ahead and toss a Axion Bolt after they've spawned. Try to get this overload immediately. I'm going to head off to the left, get a grenade ready, toss it over on all those dregs to the right. Might as well weaken this captain a little bit. Have some more dregs down low. Should have shanks, that's what I was thinking. Now you don't have to sit here if you don't want to, it is a little bit riskier. You can always go back to the back of this area again. I think all I have left is the captain, maybe a couple of vandals. And once that captain is done, I'm going to go ahead and grab some ammo and make my way back to my safe spot. Going to get a grenade ready for when some of these enemies spawn. Toss that and then be ready for the wizard. One wizard down and go for the other one right away. There it is. 
two wizards down. I'm going to go ahead and super and almost kill myself because I don't know how to actually use my super. As you can see, we got a barrier champion right away here. I believe we have some Arc Knights. Yep. Take out this captain right away. Have another set of shanks spawning. Catch a few of them as they're around the corner there. As you can see, another champion spawned. There's going to be several Vandals, some Marauders, and two Overlords that come on over here. I'm going to go ahead and try to get this champion since I have it isolated a little bit. Alright, one champion down. Three shots before I swap back to my bow. Finish it off here. Also grenade out on all these marauders, see what happens. so much ammo lying around I might as well use some of it to quickly take out these enemies And now we can move on to the next area. Make sure I max out my ammo, which I'm pretty sure I am. And there is a Vandal that's shooting at me, but I don't have to worry about it. Go for these enemies right up top here right away. Except my grenade wasn't level with them, so I didn't quite get them. I think that should be it after this Overlord Champion. On the next stun I'll use some Arbalist.
All right, and out here, I want to go for the two snipers that spawn on top of this building right away. So I'm going to toss a grenade over there. Backtrack into the building. Got one of the snipers. Got two of the snipers. I'm going to rift. Run, slide out, and super. And be ready for the champion to barrier. Quickly take the champion out just like that. I'm going to toss a grenade over there to try to get any addi additional adds here. Then I want to go for these snipers in the distance. I don't need these guys popping up at random times shooting me with a sniper shot. Alright, I believe there's one more over there. Got a couple dregs up front here as well. Oh, while I'm waiting for that other vandal, I'm going to go over here and take care of this one. There it is. That one's down. I'm going to go ahead and weaken some of these orange bars over here. I don't want to push too far forward here because I don't want to spawn the Briggs and the Walker tank yet. I like to try to clear out as many enemies as I can before I do that. Generally, I think it's if you walk past this building that's right in front of me. I don't want to go up there. Either way, I've weakened some of those enemies. I'm going to go ahead and toss a grenade down here. Almost have it cleared out. There are going to be a couple of Vandal snipers off to the right here. You can see them right there. Let me hop up here and get a better vantage point. Hit the tree there. Hit the tr other tree. Took those out. I'm going to toss a grenade right down here. Should be a few enemies down there as well. Try to finish off these orange bars. And there is going to be an overload down here. Let's see if I can clear out any more enemies before I go for that overload. Stunned it. Going for three Arbalist shots. Now that the overload is down, I can actually try to go for the barrier champion that's over here. Now this barrier champion isn't necessary. Yeah, it's not necessary to get this barrier champion. You can sometimes get an angle on it, but it's not being cooperative right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and spawn the Briggs. And I'm immediately going to go ahead and super this leftmost Brig. Toss a grenade. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and use my bow to try to break off the faceplate. It's pointless to try to use either of my linear fusion rifles here because I'm not going to do that much more damage with them, so I'm going to just end up wasting ammo. Once I break the faceplate off, then I can swap to my linear fusions and get that crit multiplier. Shouldn't be too much longer before I break it off here. Shouldn't be too much longer before I break it off. There it is. I'm going to back away a little bit and go for one more shot. Took the brig out before it could even do one of the big attacks. All right. So I can either go for the walker tank right now or I can head on over and go for the next brig. I think I'm going to work my way over to this brig over here. Now I want to scoot it over to the right here, so I'm going to try to jump and get his attention. I want to try to get it roughly in front of that 11 there. So I need it to scoot over here. I'm going to wait till it's done doing the void attack. That way it will start moving again. Once it's about in front of that 11, when you shoot it, it should boost off to the right like that. And put it in a much better position to fight. And now it kind of scooted it off to the left there again, so I'm going to wait till it gets in front of that 11, roughly. Shooting it should boost to the right. After one more boost, I think I'm going to go ahead and super. Now we got to wait a second. That might break off the faceplate. It did. And that brig is down. Next up, I want to get the attention of the walker. Once I do that, off to the right here, I'm going to head off to the left. And I'm actually going to jump up on top of this building. Because now that its attention is off to the right, I should be free to shoot it from over here. And you can hit that top crit spot from over here. It does get a little bit iffy. But as you can see, it does significant amounts of damage. Alright, let's see if I can find some more ammo somewhere around here.
Might as well toss a grenade over there in the middle too. Just hoping to find a little bit of ammo. Maybe off one of these marauders. Oh, there's some special there. And even more. So I'm going to head on back to my building. Break one more leg here. And the walker tank is down. Go ahead and toss grenades in the middle there. See if I can get some more enemies down there. I'm going to head off to the right here. There might be a marauder or two hanging out. Just have to be careful. There's another ship coming in, if you didn't hear that. There it is. I'm going to hide in the building until that goes away. Maybe take out this vandal. Ship is gone. You can see a marauder right there. And time to go for the overload. Three shots. Back to the bow. My next order of business is actually going to be this barrier. Hopefully it doesn't barrier back there. I'm going to wait till it comes out. And there's the barrier. Should be able to easily finish it off just like that. Toss a grenade. On the next stun, I'll use some linear fusion. Alright, now, once I push far enough forward, I should have some more enemies spawning. I think they're already coming out. Well, that, that was not ideal. Might as well go for this overload. I need to be very careful here. And this should be the last enemy I need to take out, and then I can head on to the boss fight. Alright, let's go.
All right, before we can even start the boss fight, there's going to be the two overload champions and several dregs. I'm going to go ahead and toss a grenade right away and then head to my safe room. Try to take out as many dregs as I can. Mainly because I don't want them tossing grenades at me. Grenade spam can get ridiculous. As the grenade comes flying in. And now I want to try to isolate one of these champions. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. Maybe this should work. My least favorite thing is when the champions interweave with one another. Like what's about to happen here. Thankfully that one kept moving. Now we just have the one champion left. Alright, and that should be it. The boss should be good to go. I'm going to go ahead and super right away. And run away, because there's going to be an arc captain. And that arc captain will push in here. So that arc captain is down. I'm going to go ahead and try to take out some of these servitors so they stop spamming in here. One more. Now we can go ahead and take out some of these adds. Yeah, I had to pick and choose. I was sandwiched there between two different grenades. Got an exploder out there. Take care of that drag. Other one spamming grenades over here. All right, I should be able to go for this servitor now. Figured there'd be some enemies coming. I gotta be careful here.
I wasn't sure if there were still some enemies over there or not. Looks like we have some invisible marauders now. worked out pretty well. And that was a close one. Not a great situation. Gotta watch out for the ship, of course. Let's toss a grenade on over here, see what happens. that captain out and that was a very very close call but I took that captain out Time to go for the boss again. And we're going to have some champions spawning. I'm going to go ahead and take out some of these servitors right away. Again, just so they don't spam shots in here. All right. Grab some ammo quick. I have one champ. I had one champion isolated. Where's this champion going to end up at? Need that champion to come out. That kind of worked out. See if I get enough time to damage it. I hear invisible marauders, I believe. Alright, time to go for the last servitor here. And that would have been a heck of a way to end it. 
I believe there should be some enemies down here. That's what I thought. I'm going to toss a grenade way over there. I'm getting hit by everything. All right, now let's go for the boss. And the boss should go down right now. And there we are, that was a pretty smooth run. I could have made it a little bit smoother in certain areas, but we got the job done. And that was a platinum completion of the Devil's Lair Grandmaster Nightfall on a Warlock. The Axion Bolt did pretty decent, actually. I still think overall, the Vortex Grenade is probably better because you can utilize it better against Overload Champions. But the Axion Bolt is decent for ad clear. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed the video. And if you did, remember to like and subscribe. I just want to thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.